The marine creature we're going to identify now is the social feather duster. Social feather dusters are tube worms, which means that each animal lives in a narrow tube, usually a little smaller in diameter than a common soda straw. They can retract into these tubes when they're threatened. They're found in clusters, usually consisting of a dozen or two individuals. They're found on coral heads, in rubble areas near reefs, and on pilings of docks and on wrecks. They are relatively shallow water dwelling creatures living in depths from 15 feet to 60 feet. Social feather dusters, as with all tube worms, feed by extending their mouths and radioles out of their tubes. The radioles are the colorful arms that encircle the mouth and are responsible for catching the animal's food and also function as their gills. On the social feather duster, the radioles look like tiny feathers so the animals look like a little feather duster you could use to dust the knickknacks in your home when they are extended. They feed on plankton that drifts by in the water column. When extended, their radioles will have a diameter of anywhere from about three quarters of an inch to an inch and a quarter. The overall length of the social feather dusters can range from an inch to several inches. Social feather dusters are common in the waters off Florida, the Bahamas, and most of the Caribbean. The color of the radioles can vary in different parts of its range, but generally consistent in each geographic area. For example, around the Turks and Caicos, they are usually a violet color with white tips. But around Cozumel, they are usually white, and in Belize, a light brown color. There can be some banding of color on the radioles, and the color is generally more intense towards the center where their mouth is located. Their tubes are usually cream to light tan colored. When social feather dusters feel a disturbance in the water column, such as the approach of a diver or a fish, they quickly retract into their tubes. But if you wait patiently and motionlessly, they will slowly reemerge, unfurling their radioles as they do. Social feather dusters reproduce asexually, which is a good thing since they are unable to move from the substrata to which they are attached. That's the social feather duster.